Hey, you guys, this is Natasha Winners of Brookshire Desire Podcast. Stand on it. How you guys doing today? Well, today we have another entrepreneur here, um, here to help us figure out how to empower, inspire, and uplift the uh, people out here. Um, if you like, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Once again, I always keep it hot, humble, open, transparent. So I'm not going to hold you no longer. Um, we have a great entrepreneur here, Mr. Nyjah. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. How's the weather out there? Oh, man. It was lovely when I went outside earlier. I'm about to go get a quick workout in as soon as we finish up here. So I might run a couple of miles, come back in, you know. Okay. Speaking of that, let's, um, let's dive in. What is, your, um, what is your occupation or pretty much what do you do as an entrepreneur? Let's talk so a little I, consider, I got you. So I consider myself a serial entrepreneur. I, I, I start a lot of projects. Most of them I don't finish. I use them as lessons learned. But specifically, I do photography, graphic design. I have my own t-shirt printing company, uh, fitness nutrition guru, and a philanthropist. Wow. <laughs> He busy, you guys. He busy, you guys. You know what? I was going to discuss that, but I will later on. Being an entrepreneur, you do have to have so many streams of income. I mean, to be a future millionaire, you're going to always come up with ideas and great example. So um, what made you decide to, to be an entrepreneur and what made you decide to have all these different lines of income? So it started back during... Uh, I'll say sophomore year at North Carolina Central University where I've obtained my my big bachelor's degree in entrepreneurship so I, I had no idea what I wanted to do I was in pharmacy did a couple internships over the summer working in the lab hated it didn't like flexibility didn't like the standing in one spot all day so I changed my major to something where I could be anything that I wanted to do which was entrepreneurship so since then, you know, I started a couple of ventures on campus, a couple of organizations just to help the people directly in Durham. That translated me to, you know, help out back home where I created Bird Key Strong. But in that, I, I learned that, you know, networking with investors, gathering the money is hard. It's not easy. You got to be on your P's and Q's. Come on so now. I wanted to kind of become like Jeff Bezos and Amazon this thing. So I wanted to create, I wanted to shoot my own photos. I wanted to create my own merchandise and, and using that to fund my own ventures. Okay. Now with that being said, I know you said, um, cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm with you with that. That entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur, um, me, myself, I got tired of working too, but you know what? I gotta let the people know, let them know how old you are. Starting um, out with entrepreneurship. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 23. Look, 23. you guys, it started at 23. Stop playing. Stop playing. So how is it working out for you? I mean, how do you push yourself to keep doing it? And why do you say you start something and start, I mean, and start again? Is it because so many ideas? I mean, what makes yeah, you? Yeah, so it's a, it's a couple of things. So, you know, I'm I'm fascinated. I'm fascinated with learning. Like I have this never ending thirst for learning. Like I tell everybody, like my goal is to get better every single day, little by little. And it can be as little as, you know, waking up one minute earlier every day, as long as I get better. Mm -hmm. But I start, I start projects to, to, to grow from. So for example, on campus, I started Equal Opportunities where we we, in the wintertime, we delivered care packages to the homeless. You know, that worked out. It was fun. We uh, developed good partnerships with the Durham Rescue Mission and TROSA. And that allowed me to learn all of the skills that I needed to start Bird Tea Strong, where we raised about $2,000 to give back directly to the families affected to the disaster relief back in Bird Tea County. And I to talk a little bit about that Bird Tea Strong, though. You know, um, I know you were telling me a little bit about it. Can you explain to the people what is Bertie Strong? So Bertie Strong is is going to be a registered nonprofit uh, to provide not only disaster relief but more opportunities to the people back where I'm from, Bertie County, North Carolina. And in that, we just do special projects to kind of 
bring the community together. For example, this past November, we did a turkey bowl. It was a, it was a football game where alums from Bertie High School, they came back and they just played in a football game. But in that, we had several vendors from, from uh, the individuals from back home where they can market their, their products. Like we had a, the, treat, the treat fairy, she uh, came and uh, displayed her fabulous cakes and other sweets. There's a couple of others. And, you know, it just, prevent, just promote unity uh, back home where it's uh, really needed. Okay, okay. Okay, and as far as the, um, the photography thing, you know, you say you was, you know, shooting a little photography. How, 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 how long you been doing that? I think I first picked up the camera in 2018. And, you know, I started just for, you know, just for fun. And really, it's, we wanted me to be honest. I was I wasn't trying to pay like two hundred dollars for a photo shoot, so I was like, I'm gonna just learn how to shoot my own pictures, and you know how much that be costing them photo shoots two hundred dollars. Yeah, photo photography, you know, and as I dove more into it, I see why they charge the prices that they do because editing photos is no joke. Like you can spend hours and hours of trying, especially if you're like attention to detail oriented, like I am. Like you look at every little detail, little thing on the photo and you try to edit it and now I'm like okay now I see why it's two hundred dollars but I, I I don't charge two hundred dollars I typically charge 75 for a full photo shoot you get 15 edited photos and I don't mind sending you the raw photos because end of the day it's customer experience which I am uh, specifically targeting okay you guys look if you want to get that photo shoot I will have the information linked to the um to the bottom so you can be able to get in contact with Mr. Nigel. You know I got to be curious. Is one more thing that you do? Graphics? Yeah, graphic design. So this is this is something that I accidentally learned how to do. So in the, in the day in the daytime I'm a program analyst with the Environmental Protection Agency and I had, you know, I work on a, several different projects, but as an intern back in 2019, I was tasked with creating uh, marketing materials for a veteran's career fair. And I was like, man, how am I going to do this? I, I hate Adobe, I like Adobe Photoshop. I'm not very, I'm not that skilled. So I, I learned how to do it. And since then, I started creating my own merchandise and just went from there. And like my shirt that I have on my shirt. Let me see, see, let me see, let me see. Designed this okay. myself. Got, got it printed out, selling them as well. You know. Okay, so we'll have that down below too, so y'all can subscribe to him to get, you know, look at a little things that he's been um doing as well as far as his products. We're gonna help you get your name out there. This ain't gonna be your first last time coming up here, right? Nah, you know, you can bite me whenever. I love speaking to the people. Especially when it's come to helping people. And you guys, it's 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 an honor to have someone this young in front of me to be 23 years old and doing his thing. Cause honestly, I was I was 40. <laughs> Why? We ain't gonna talk about that. But anyway, life. But um Nigel, do you have, you have anything you want to tell the people? Uh shoot. Uh, I want to touch on my fitness nutrition. Because I think that's the biggest, most important thing that I just now started. But it's 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 not as hard to start, you know, and, and starting your own venture isn't hard, but it's easier to start living the lifestyle that you want to live by developing that confidence by working out and eating healthy. Because you get one body at the end of the day and you need to take care of it. So, you know, you can just just start working out, build that confidence, and you will see the results. Okay, my question, when did you start this project? Uh, this, so I think, so back in 2019, it was, a, it was a very bad year for me. Like I was in the worst shape of my life, not because I wanted to, but because of circumstances. Mm. And, you know, I think I, I gained weight. I was like 230 pounds given, but the year before that, I was maybe 190. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I didn't start working out until recently, like consistently, but I wanted to start, I wanted to be food conscious. I wanted to develop a better relationship with food. So I started eating more vegetables and, you know, I tried to, well, I didn't know it at the time, but I was in the calorie deficit. So I went from 230 back to 215 and hey. 215, I think I stayed 215 for about two years, a year and a half. 
And just last year, last August, I was like, you know what, I'm going to hit the gym consistently. And now I can say, as of yesterday, I weigh 204. Hey, come on, it's it's those little wins that you, you always celebrate as they keep you going. And, you know, I'm 204. Like, I'm eager to get into the gym now and shed this next four pounds to get to get to 200. And then I'm going to bolt back up with muscle. So it's, you know, it's fun. It's a journey. And the most important thing is it's not, you don't do it to look a certain way. You do it as a lifestyle. Like, it's a never-ending journey. The journey, what the, what they say, the journey is the destination. So if you start this journey, don't 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 end it in six months. You do it every single day. Cause it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. You know, I'm about to I'm about to um pick that brain. So with this new weight um fitness thing you got going on, watching the food, watching the weight, you got an app for it. Oh yeah, my fitness pal. I use my fitness pal to track all of my calories. So my fitness goal is to. It's to shed fat and build muscle at the same time. It's called deep body recomposition. Okay. So I try to shoot for 175 grams of protein daily. And it's, you know, it's it's not hard. Like I thought it was hard, but it's not hard. Like I in the morning, and you know, this is this is where it gets tricky because I don't mind eating the same food. And I know a lot of people they they want to switch it up. But I gotta me, switch you know, it up. I'm cool gotta with switch uh, it up. <laughs> I'm cool with the half bite. And this is how this is how deep I get into it. Like literally for breakfast, every single day I either eat half a cup of oatmeal, one scoop of protein, uh, some two slices of turkey bacon, and I may or may not eat some eggs with it. And that gives me about 60 grams of protein right there. And you'll be surprised with how many people don't eat 60 grams of protein a day. Mm. And and that's that just that's just, that's just breakfast. 500 calories central is that good breakfast is central the yeah, breakfast. so it it really depends on what your goal is so like like my goal is to, to to gain weight to gain muscle and lose fat so when i first started and this is what this is how learning is important so when i first started my journey i did intermittent fasting but i didn't eat breakfast i didn't eat my first meal till 12 o'clock and I found, as, you know, as I do more research, I found out that was actually hurting me because the breakfast is what's going to fuel my workout, oh. not the lunch or the dinner, but the breakfast. And, you know, I can eat lunch and dinner, but I'm, I'm going to have a bad sluggish workout. And, you know, it, it, it differs from person to person. But for me, ever since I started eating breakfast consistently, I've seen the results. So I'm going to I'm going to stick with the numbers and I'm just going to keep eating my breakfast. And they say numbers don't lie. Yeah, numbers don't okay. lie. And I went from 215 to 204 on January 31st. Look at him bragging. Look at him bragging. Yeah, you know, I'm skinny now. <laughs> okay, I got one more question. Um, I know you got a lot to do today, but I got one more good question. Are you do you have a website or you know your own? Did you create an app for this or do you have a website so people can know what to do if they want to take this journey with you? Got you. I don't have a specific website, but I, I have my Instagram page. And my Instagram page, it ties into everything that I do. And if you have any questions, you know, you can DM me anytime. Uh, my email is up there. I think my phone number is up there. And like I said, the app that I use is my fitness pal, which tracks my nutrition. And I use the strong app to track my progressive overload during my workout. Okay. Guess what? So we're going to watch this journey with you. Okay. So you say you're at 204. Oh. What's your goal? Uh, it's, it's tough. Like I want to. I don't want to be any lower than two hundred. So I think I'm gonna get down to one ninety five, and then I'm gonna build muscle all the way back up to two hundred five. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch you back in a couple months and see how that goes, so everyone can see the results. Since you already starting, you know, you just started, whatever. What we're gonna do is come back in a few months and see you check in with you and see how that's how how you know how your lifestyle how it goes because. I mean, it's important. Like you said, it's important. And since uh, you say you don't have an app or a website, y'all can catch them on Instagram. We'll have all the information you need for Nigel down low. And once again, we do appreciate your time. Um, anybody, um, anybody that, you know, wants to do the entrepreneurship, I mean, it starts at any age. I mean, it ain't just from, you see, from 23 over here to 40 right here, we can do this. 
and you can do all things with God. So with that being said, we appreciate you guys. Hit like, subscribe, hit the um, subscribe, 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 tell a friend, tell a friend. And anyway, if you want to know anything, I will get it out. If you have any questions, I'll let you know. Like I said, look to the bottom. You will see his information. And um, y'all have a great day. We love you.